Hello and welcome. Today we will be rebuilding a three-phase General Electric motor. This is a two-pole three-phase motor that's got 18 slots. It's been running on 440 volts its whole life. Uh, recently it had a ground fault where it shorted out and blew the fuse for my customer. So to fix it, we're going to remove the old winding and put in a new one. To do that, we cut the head off, put it in the oven for 900 degrees for about six hours, come back, and then the winding's loose and we can pull it out by hand. First we have to take the data. This particular motor is a 1Y connected, but there are many other motors that are either delta or part winding start. So be sure that we are finding that before we take out the coils, as once it's gone, it is gone. Uh, we also have to make sure that we know the span. This is a 1 and 8. It's got 32 turns and it has one number 19 wire. After we've removed the winding, we can clean the stator and prepare it for rewinding. Part of the process will be to file down the edges to remove any burrs or any sharp corners that might damage the cell slots that we will be inserting. Here you can see the stator with some of the edges filed. Now it's been sandblasted and we can apply the epoxy coating. This actually has a 3000 volts per mil rating, so it has got a pretty high dielectric strength. Here you can see the slot liners beginning to be inserted, and now they've fully been inserted. I like to make a test coil and then use that size before I go and make all of my coils and groups. Here you can see that there are six groups of three. I begin inserting the coils and hand shaping them so that they don't clump up too much on the end turns. Insulation paper is used between groups to insulate the phases from each other. Once the winding has been shaped, to ensure that it won't hit the end bells, we can dip it in varnish and then bake it in the oven. This process takes a couple of hours, so usually while it's going on I'll work on something else. In this instance, I was working on a 10 horsepower single phase Baldor motor. I install new ball bearings and test the motor. It sounds good and runs smooth, so let's give it a paint job.